Guys, subscribe to my channel hashtags with Vichil and click on the bell icon to get notified regarding the latest videos. Hey guys, welcome back and in this video we'll be doing 3D origami guitar model. So without further delay, let's check it out. So guys, for this guitar model, we'll need some red pieces, some white pieces and some black pieces. I'll mention the number of pieces in the description. So let's start. So first, we need these black pieces. I just built some glue over here. That's fine. So I'll use this glue to take those pieces. I'll be sticking each and every piece in this model. So this might be a longer video overall. But sticking these pieces is important so that the model won't spill or the model won't break. So in the first row We'll add two black pieces. Like this. Two black pieces and in the second row, let me just apply it here. Yeah. In the second row, we'll have three black pieces. So we we'll start with two and and in the second row, we have three black pieces like this. Now, in the second row, we add two more black pieces, but first we'll start with the third row. So, in the third row, it's total seven pieces. So first, we'll start like this. We put two reds. Let me just pick this up like this and two reds, one here. Press it tightly. I hope it's clear. Two reds like this and then remaining are blacks. So as I said, we, we need some blacks in second row also. So we'll add like this and then we'll glue it. like this similarly we do one on this side this will be a symmetric model so definitely you retain the shape on both the sides so if you can see the first row has two pieces, second row has five pieces, third row currently has four, but then we'll increase the number of pieces here. So here there are five, right? Two are done. Here two are done. And then we put two pieces at the end. Oops, it's a lot of glue here. Let me just not use that one. Like this one in this corner and let's put one in this corner. 
So uh, the third row has six pieces. Sorry, I think I mentioned seven, with six pieces. Now the next row will contain seven pieces with five reds and two blacks. So let's apply some glue like this. Apply it on the peaks so that after putting the piece, the glue will be intact inside. Like this. So the glue is not seen and the model retains its strength from inside. Like this, four and Fifth one would be here. Now we'll add two pieces, two black pieces. One here and one here. So seven pieces in the fourth row. Now in the next row, we'll put nine pieces. So actually uh, it's not nine, basically it's eight pieces because we are increasing one piece in one layer. So let's increase this gradually till we have, I think approximately um, 14th row or, or say 14 pieces in the last row. So let's gradually go on increasing like this. Just apply some glue. So in this row it will be eight pieces. Since we had seven in last row, now there will be eight. Like this and then we put one piece here and then at the corners it will be blacks so we maintain this black in the corners like this one on this corner and one on this corner give it a slight shape like this this is how it looks so guys now as we completed this uh, layer now in the next layer we'll have five reds if you can see there are six reds here so we'll have five reds here and then we'll have two blacks here and two blacks here so let's again apply the glue Uh, five reds in this row Fix it properly press it properly like this And then Put 
four blacks so two on this side and two on that side oops i guess i applied but yeah that's fine that will be useful anyway This is how it looks. Now we'll increase the number of reds. So here it goes. One here. We'll just keep two blacks at the corners. So you see there will be total eight reds in this row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven here, and then eight here. Eight reds in this row. And then we'll add, we'll add a black on this side and one on this side. This is how it looks. Now will gradually increase the number of red pieces since we have eight right now we'll go till 12 and it will be two black pieces at the corners so let's oh, i think this is not glued properly i'm gluing each and every piece in this model because this is an order model i've got an order for making this model so this should be really intact and hooray Finally, I got one order. So, yeah. Uh, so in this, now there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? So we need to gradually increase the number of red pieces till we grow till 12 reds. So there will be all reds here and two blacks at the corner. So let's finish this and I'll get back. All right, so 12 pieces, 12 reds and 2 blacks in this row. Now, next row, let's apply the glue first. Next row, we need to have some combination of pieces. White pieces will be used at the end. Okay, so here, we need to have a red piece first and then we will have actually we'll have four reds here we'll have five blacks in the center so four reds here like this and then we'll have five blacks let me just get three blacks this side yeah so five blacks, this one. Five blacks and then again we'll have four reds. This time we'll not add uh, black pieces at the corners i'll tell you why like this now if we go on adding black pieces this one piece remains open so now in next row we'll close this so let's glue this and then let's glue all other
So here with a black, we'll close this like this. And then we'll close on this side as well. Let's put some blue from oh, oh. sorry. Yeah, let's put some blue here and here. All right, so um, since we closed these two with blacks, now we'll have four reds. We need to give that guitar a uh, look at this point. So we'll add it this way. So we have four reds here. Let's apply some glue. Now we'll add one black. Now again, we'll add reds. I think two or two reds are enough. Yeah. And then we'll add one black. Like this. And then we'll fill it up with all reds. It was four reds, right? That side. So yeah, four reds, symmetric. Keeping it symmetric is must in these models, otherwise it won't look good. Like this. So guys, this is how uh, it looks. Now we'll reduce the number of pieces. So a black in the corners and reds in the middle. So like this, we'll add one black here. Let's add it. Complete this row with all reds and we'll have one black here. Let's complete this row with all reds. I need to remove few reds, so I'll get back. So here I completed this row. Now we need to add two more rows, reducing one piece in each row. So if you see, this has two blacks at the corners and then there are 11 uh, red pieces. So total 13 pieces. Now we'll reduce it to 12, then we'll reduce it to 11. So let's complete these two rows and I'll be back with the finished model. All right, so here I completed those two rows. Now next, now next, will be adding will decrease the number of rows but we'll add will we'll add some black pieces so that we get a circle in the center here so let's again start with applying glue this applying of glue actually takes time definitely and it adds the time in each layer but then the final model never breaks so that's uh, an advantage we have and we'll go in this way so we'll add first we'll add a black at the end here then we'll add three reds So we'll repeat the same process first from this side, 
black and then three reds if you are applying the glue then if a piece just like how now it inserted in a wrong way or it, it got a fit in a wrong way you need to immediately remove it otherwise if the glue holds the piece then the paper might get tear off and in that case that piece uh, becomes waste now we have two piece two uh, you know a place for two pieces so we'll start with those black pieces like this now we'll increase the black pieces since we need a circle kind of a thing so we'll put red pieces in the sides let's put first black pieces so that we can have an idea about how many red pieces it fits so we'll put three black pieces here like this and then two black pieces at the corners as usual and then i think uh, two red pieces fit in here so we'll have those two red pieces And finally a black piece. This is how it looks. Now in next row, we'll um, add four black pieces. Let me put these black pieces on this side. This is easy. Yeah, so four black pieces. One, two, four one, and the fourth one. Now, uh, we'll, we'll, we have reduced uh, this shape to a great extent now. And now we'll go on increasing the number of pieces after this row. So let's put let's put some red pieces here and no black piece this time at the corner. Like this and then two red pieces here. This is how it looks. Now in next row, we'll pack this black piece. So we have four uh, red uh, blacks, right? Now we'll increase to five in the next row. So first, let me get a few blacks. And then first let's put black pieces. So one here, this goes second, or one, fourth, yeah, and now we'll put red piece so there will be one red piece here and now we'll pack this black so let's glue it this black and this red piece and we'll pack it with the black one like this similarly we do it on this side
one red and pack it with the black this is how it looks all right so now uh, we'll increase the number of pieces now just give me one sec let me adjust the mic yeah so now onwards we'll increase the number of pieces so with same pattern will increase one uh, corners will have black and in between we'll have whites here and then we'll reduce the number of blacks okay so uh, we put two reds here and there was one red one two reds and now we reduce blacks it was five initially now it's four then it goes three and two Put it properly and tightly. It's not properly visible in the camera, but while doing, you'll have a clear, fair idea of which piece is going where. Okay, so now we'll add two black pieces at the corners. this piece basically we apply glue to the last piece and then this is how it looks you don't pack it with this one otherwise it will look bad you just put it like this Again, we grow on increasing. Go, uh, sorry, we go on increasing the level. We reduce blacks, increase whites, and add two blacks at the corner. So here we need to complete two more rows like this. So in that row there will be four blacks, two uh, sorry, four reds, two blacks, four reds, one black, and one black. So let's finish those two layers all right so now next row we'll close this let's apply some glue and then we'll add all the red pieces two blacks at the corner and all the red pieces so these blacks will basically lock Now let's add all the reds. So the body uh, is almost complete we'll add two to three more rows and then the body will be done and then we'll form the neck with all the blacks and whites the white pieces will come into picture in 
the neck portion of the guitar so let's press this like this properly in shape and this is how it looks all right now in the next row we'll put all the reds let's glue it we have limited number of reds i think i'll need to make few more so yeah we'll pack it with all reds like this we'll leave the black last black which will be packed in the next layer all right so this row is completed with all reds we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten reds in this row now in the next row we'll pack these two first let's apply the glue And now well, let's pack these two first with blacks. Like this. And then we'll up we'll add uh, two reds. One red here and one red here. Apply it properly. And then we'll add five blacks so sorry for the background noise there are a lot of children playing there is a construction work going on so let's finish this row five blacks two reds again And then one black, which we already added. Okay, cool. Now, um, we'll start adding whites now in between. And this is how it goes. Let me put some glue and we'll start. Okay, so first thing, we'll put a red piece. Here, one red. We'll put a black piece. Oh, uh, let's black piece here. Cover it up like this. Then we'll put two black pieces here. This is the last row where we'll need red pieces, and hence, if you see, I just have one remaining two black pieces then comes the white two white pieces then black two black pieces one red the final red and last one is the black piece which we'll put here this is how it looks all right so here we completed this row now we need to fill uh, next row with all blacks we don't need to increase the number of pieces we need to decrease the number of pieces actually so let's apply the glue and complete this row with all blacks all 
Now let's do it together. As the model increases, holding the model is slightly difficult. But then hold it properly and then press the pieces properly so that it won't come out. And make sure that one edge goes in one pocket or one hole. That's the must. Alright, this is how it looks. Now the body is almost ready. Let's properly press it and get shape. Body is almost ready. This is how our guitar body looks like. Now we need to make the neck. So for the neck, let's uh, start with the white pieces. So let's, I'm applying glue only at these pieces and wherever we have whites, we need to put two whites in the same location. Like this and then we put two blacks. This is how it looks. Now we need to pack with five blacks covering this edge. So let's put some glue on that edge also. Let's put it like this and then let's put some glue on this edge. Yeah. So five blacks. Cover this like this and then like this. This is how it looks. Now, as we added it like this, now in the next row, there will be one black, two whites, one black, and in the next following row, will be all blacks. Similarly, we need to add nine such white rows. So these two pieces are there, right? So two whites. Similarly, there are, now we completed with two rows. Similarly, we need to complete seven more rows, such pairs of rows, so that we can get this neck of the guitar so let's complete that and i'll be back all right so as you can see i've completed this neck or the trunk whatever you call it so if you can see one two three four five six seven eight nine nine set of white rows and all blacks now we'll increase the number of blacks here this is the top portion Apply the glue. Here we put one black like this. One edge, one uh, one pocket open or one hole open, and then we put all blacks. So we put six blacks. 
in this row and the last one one will be open like this now we put one black one white then two blacks I believe two would not go so let's put one black here and let's put one white here yeah so this is how the symmetric look stays Now let's put all blacks, increase the number of rows. We need to pack it here like this. And then all blacks in this row. it like this now we repeat the same one black one white and again we pack with all blacks This is like we are reaching the climax of the guitar finally. This is not a very big model but this is also not a very small model. This is a mediocre level model. Press it properly and tightly. Now let me get some blacks. This one here, you know. We don't need white anymore now. So here we apply glue only for the middle pieces, and then in the center here we put three black pieces like this and then we'll put two black pieces finally so one goes here we just remove this there we go. Yeah. And the final one goes here.
and this is the final guitar model you can make this neck portion a bit taller as well as per your wish but this is a small toy model and this is how it looks so guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial hit the like button share and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get notified first this is vishal thank you so much and i'll be back next week new videos new content every weekend stay tuned